Hello, hello everybody. This is Sister's Intuition. I'm coming to you with a mid-month reading. I'm doing all the zodiac signs. I'm going to be doing the sign of Pisces right now. Okay? So I hope all of y'all are doing well, doing great. I hope everybody had a happy Valentine's Day. Um, everything you need to know about me down there is in the description box. Okay? If you would like to um, donate to the channel or get a personal reading, all that is down there in the description box. Please, please do not forget to give me a big fat thumbs up. Like, share, subscribe. God bless you and your family, and God bless you on your journey. Peace, love, and light to you, okay? Sharon is Karen, baby. Let's get these words going around. You know, people leave these messages out, okay? You can follow me on Facebook, Shelly Evans. I go live there each and every day, so if you'd like to catch me live, you can do that over there, okay? Um, and you can catch me on TikTok. I post videos there, and I go um, live from time to time, Sisters Intuition. So let's get into it. All right, so we're going to be doing Pisces. Okay, so remember, these are general readings, okay? They are not going to resonate with each and every Pisces. Check your placements, but if you have Pisces in your sun, moon, rising, or Venus, maybe there could be messages in this for you. So, take it if it's your message. If it's not going to resonate, leave it for another Pisces. ain't your message, okay? All right, so, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what is the message for Pisces? Sun, moon, rising, Venus, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, we have Mercury. Okay, this is the, the karma cards. I just got these, okay? It says, communicate, analyze, and let your mind tell you how. So, you know, you could be analyzing, thinking about a lot of shit. Um, and, and there's some stuff that you need to get communicated. Maybe you need to get off your chest and, you know, you need to let shit off your mind. All right, uh, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right. The eighth house. This is about manifestations. This is about power. This is about business. There is personal power, the mysteries of life, and major changes. So there's major changes coming in and manifestations in your power and your career. This is an eighth house in general. And there's a lot of mysteries going on around the power. Okay. The second house, okay, could be significant. So, you could be like sitting back patiently waiting for what you want, but uh, you're going to get what you need, Spirit says, okay? So, you always need to be humble and be grateful for what you have because shit could be so much worse, right? Then you have Uranus. An unusual example. There's a different way of looking at shit. And an unexpected change. There's going to be an unexpected change that happens. And you're going to have a different way of looking at stuff. And it's going to be unusual. Okay? Whatever it is, it's going to be unusual. And in the ninth house. So the ninth house. This is about spiritual values. Okay? This is about your spirituality. This is a what needs to be shared. And long range thinking or travel. So somebody could be sharing their spirituality. You know, they could be sharing it to people. And they have a long range of thinking. Or there could be some travel involved, okay? Take it out, it resonates. All right. Um, so since it was Valentine's Day, I did use the Romance Angel card. So I'm going to do it for y'all as well. So Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What does Pisces need to know? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. It is safe for you to love. Open up your heart to receive. So it's safe for you to love. It's time for you to heal and open up your heart to receive. Okay. Pisces, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Pisces, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Yeah, children. So your love life, uh, you know, there could be a factor of children being in your relationship. So your love life is being affected by children. There's unrequited love. You know, somebody doesn't. The love is just not there, okay? It's not reciprocated. One person could feel it, the other person doesn't, or y'all just fell out of love and you're just staying together for the sake of the children. There is a separation that's going to happen. You know, there's going to be some time apart from your partner. And Spirit's telling you to let go of the control issues. It's time to let this shit unfold naturally and for you to pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Somebody could be having trouble in their finances and career area, okay? All right, Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. These are the Romance Oracles. It says, close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in, okay? And in healing, imagine yourself and your beloved 
surrounded by light through your relationship being healed at this very moment. And it's telling you there's some reflection going on and a, a sense of looking inside yourself, figuring out what is causing you to feel the way that you do, right? What's causing it? You know, you could be taking a deep look. All right, Pisces. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Pisces, sun, moon, rising, Venus. This is the Kipper. Oh, shit. Kipper cards. All right. Pisces, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Somebody's in despair. Somebody could be at a loss right now. Somebody could be going through a lot of sorrow, a lot of pain. Somebody could be dealing with some legal issues to the court. Why is despair here for Pisces, sun, moon, rising, Venus? This uh, main male, he could be going through despair right now. Somebody's going through poverty. Somebody could be um, having to pay for a child through court, child support or something. You know, a lot of change is coming in. Yeah. Why is the main male in despair here for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Yeah. Um, somebody's concerned about an ending, okay? Somebody's concerned here. This is about an ending or this could be a physical death. If there has been a passing... You know, I'm very sorry for your loss. My condolences, my prayers to you and your family. But this is a wealthy man, okay? Why is the coffin and wealthy man here for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Yeah, the false person. Some This false person is sending a message of concern. There could be somebody in a courtship. But this there's a false person here, a message of concern. Somebody could be sent back expecting money. Could be within the family. Clarify this false person. False person, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. False person. Twenties, the house. So this could be somebody you got a family, a house with. This is an eight on this card. So this could be somebody you have a business with, you work with. Or somebody just wants to be in power control. This is a false person. Somebody's looking at you as a privileged lady and that you got income coming in. Somebody does. There's a family connected to this. Somebody could be wanting to message somebody. Okay. All right, let's see where we're going with the tarot cards here. All right, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What is the message for Pisces? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is the message for Pisces? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is the message for Pisces? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Spirit, Pisces. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, there they go. All right, we got it. Somebody's got a lot of anxiety and fear. Somebody could be losing sleep. Some kind of depression, fear. You know, um, we have the three of swords. Somebody could go through a lot of heartbreak, a lot of sorrow, a lot of pain. Okay, but the nine of swords, you know, somebody could have a lot of anxiety and fear that there's a third party maybe. I don't know. But there could be a third party, three of swords. You know, there could be some kind of betrayal third party. Or if it's not, you know, somebody's just got a lot of sorrow and pain, a lot of emotional pain and sorrow, heartbreak going on. Could be dealing with the Sagittarius. We do have the temperance. Somebody is, you know, um... Somebody is working towards some kind of balance and, and then peace and harmony in their life. Somebody could be wanting to come back in and reconcile with somebody, but somebody's got a lot of anxiety and fear that maybe somebody's going to reject them. The death card is here. So that could have been an ending here. This is transformation. This is change. Okay. So, you know, the death card is somebody's ending some shit, right? Somebody's got anxiety. Somebody's ending this shit, right? Um, Somebody's got anxiety and fear that somebody's ending this shit and they're changing. They're going through change. You know, they're going through transformation. You'd be like, damn, I don't even know who that person is anymore, right? You know, somebody could be thinking that because, you know, change, you know, it could be taking somebody by surprise. Now they got anxiety. You know, maybe they didn't think somebody was going to end this, right? Somebody stood up and they got the courage. You know, they're defending themselves, they're protecting themselves. They're putting forth the courage and the effort to come overcome some challenges, right? You know, somebody's threw a lot of, you know, a lot of shit their way, but my God, they're still standing tall, okay? Somebody could have walked away thinking the grass is greener on the other side, or somebody could be walking away and knowing they fucking deserve more. Somebody's going after their ambitions and goals. They are charging ahead. They're going after it, and they are closing out cycles, and they're having beautiful new beginnings. Somebody is creating. That, I mean, that's like the hands of creation. Somebody's going through the ambitions and goals or going after it, and they're going through cre creations. Yeah, some kind of creations. Okay. Somebody's got a lot of anxiety and fear because somebody could have stabbed somebody in the back and backstabbed them and betrayed them, and it could have caused an ending. So, yeah, mm -hmm. that could be because it's on the top. All right, clarify this three of swords for Pisces. Nine of wands in reverse. Somebody's emotionally drained. 
Okay? They are. Somebody's past is coming back to haunt them. This could be a Libra. Somebody's getting justice. Somebody's getting some karma because there's a cause and effect for your actions. You know, somebody's in the fool in reverse. Somebody's not able to move forward. Okay? Somebody needs to start believing in their self. Um, yeah. Believing in yourself. Standing up for yourself. Somebody needs to do that, right? But justice. This is somebody's justice. Somebody is bossing up. This could be a sign of Aries. But somebody's getting some kind of karma. You know, somebody is bossing up. Somebody could be starting a new business. And they're going towards the King of Pentacles. They're going towards stability. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Somebody's getting disciplined. They're going after their ambitions and goals. Could be starting a new business. Okay? Bossing up. You know, they're focusing on their family, their success. You know, their finances. Okay? Um, somebody is protected. They're standing in their power. Um, and, 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 you know, they're being... Um, they're, they're demanding order. You know, they want order in their lives. So they're getting stable and they're working towards stability, right? They want something that's stable, something they can depend on. Somebody's confused. Somebody's confused, blindsided. Um, you know, somebody's powerless right now. Okay, this could be somebody that you work with, okay? Yeah. Okay, what else is just? Clarify justice for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Clarify this justice card for Pisces. Okay, somebody thought that they was going to win, that they was going to betray somebody. And that they was going to get recognized and win. Somebody is, they're fucking, there's no victory for your efforts and your dirty work. Somebody's dirty work ain't paying off. You could be done with the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is somebody that's on a high vibration. She is speaking her mind. She's exerting herself. Um, you know, she's self-assured. She's getting her confidence back. She's got that passionate drive, you know. And she's very vibrant, baby. She is glowing, you know. But, uh. Somebody, three of wands, somebody's putting the past behind them, and they are walking into new opportunities, baby. They're ready to receive. Somebody's looking at their choices and options. Somebody could have had this person up as a choice, an option, baby, and that's wishful thinking. Somebody is saying that, uh, you know, nobody's having a victory for this. Somebody betrayed somebody and thought they was going to get away with it, and they're not. You know, putting this person up as an option was wishful thinking. Or somebody's looking at their options and their choices, and they're making different decisions. They are moving forward. There could be some travel involved here, but somebody's moving into calmer water. Uh, you know, they're moving forward into calmer water in their life. Clarify the death card for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Ooh, a sneaky magician. I don't like that fucking energy. No, no. Somebody could have been sneaky here. The magician in the reverse. Somebody could have been trying to manifest if somebody didn't have any stability, you know, finances. Somebody could have been manifesting some kind of uh, death on somebody, trying to, but they're not getting away with it because the person is protected. But somebody is getting some kind of karma. I, I, this is karma. Somebody is losing their stability. They could be losing their family. They could be losing a relationship because man wants to go around and be a sneaky ass motherfucker. So somebody's decided to go at it alone. Yeah, judgment. Fuck yeah. Judgment. Somebody's getting judged by the most high. Somebody's going through an awakening. They took a pause, took a break. What, baby? I want, I want, I want cookie and cream. Okay, tell them how to keep some. But somebody's getting judged. Sorry, my son's with some ice cream. But anyhow, uh, somebody's getting judged, okay, for by the most high. Spirit is judging this person. They could be dealing with some legal issues as well, but uh, the wheel's here. This is somebody's destiny. This is somebody's fate, okay? Somebody's going through an awakening. Somebody's took a pause. You know, they're looking at their life and like, fuck this, they're leveling up, right? They're going through, you know, somebody's getting on their, they're going towards their path, you know? The wheel is here about endings. There's 10 on this card. That is about endings, but fate. Somebody is fated to have karma because of the decisions and shit that you do. You know, you reap what you sow in life, right? And somebody's going in a turning point in their life, right? Somebody is working on their abundance by God. Somebody's not a pinnacle. Somebody's getting sure about their self. They are getting disciplined and they towards work or whatever they're working on. And they're going to get some kind of abundance coming in. Somebody's going to have good karma coming their way. Or if somebody's dealing with a um, legal situation, somebody's fixing to get some kind of stability here, okay? Somebody's starting a new passionate beginning. Somebody could want to travel towards somebody and have a new tra uh, per uh, new uh, beginning. Somebody could be wanting to send a message to somebody, um, write a letter or send a text message or something because somebody has got karma. They're having bad luck. They fell on hard times here. You know, they're feeling a black right now, but the reason this has happened 
is because of the choices that somebody has made. And, and now somebody's got a lot of anxiety and fear. Well, hell, why didn't they have the anxiety and fear when they's out here doing the shit to people, right? That's what I don't understand. You know, why? Why now? Okay? Could be dealing with a Leo. <clears throat> this is somebody is a very strong individual. This is somebody that's got the courage. They're going to their inner strength. This is a warrior. This is a fucking warrior. You know, she. this somebody's been through a lot of shit. You know, they're going to their inner courage, their inner strength. They're getting into their courage and their power by God and their, you know, somebody's letting go. They're tired of sitting back in limbo, waiting on somebody. Somebody could be married. Yeah. The Hierophant. Somebody could be dealing with a Taurus. Somebody could be married. Somebody could be having a Taurus. Uh, somebody got somebody back in limbo, like waiting. Huh, hang man, just stuck. So I sacrificed a lot for somebody, right? That's how they feel. Like if they sacrificed a lot for somebody and they feel like I'm letting go of this shit, right? So somebody's getting clear and direct that they're going and to be an independent. They don't want to fucking deal with anybody. Uh, so yeah, so somebody's cutting somebody out. Somebody's choosing to invest their time on something for the long term. They don't want anything that's going to be a group, <laughs> a third party. They don't want anything that's going to be temporary. They want something for the long term. So they're putting their energy into something that is going to yield them some kind of results for the long term. You know, they want something that's going to grow. Okay? Four of swords. Somebody's took a pause, a break. Somebody's doing meditation. Uh, somebody's healed. You know, they're healing. So now somebody's doing some, um, yeah, somebody's, yeah. Okay, what else? What else for, um, pa t clarify this will. Posse, summon, rise and Venus. Yeah, somebody could be losing a job or somebody doesn't want to work with somebody anymore. Could be the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Somebody's done a lot of soul searching, sign of Virgo. A lot of soul searching. Um, you know, Somebody um, is doing a lot of soul searching, a lot of thinking, because they're ending this. They're trying to be backstabbed, being betrayed. Somebody's wanting to hold on to somebody. It could be a Gemini, lovers. But yes, this is somebody's karma. Somebody's going to have to watch somebody, uh, you know, get a, get abundance is what I'm thinking. This is somebody's karma, that they have to sit back and watch somebody, um, you know, have good luck and have good karma. Get finances straightened out. This is their karma. They have to sit back and watch this shit, and now they have to follow on hard times. Let's see. I'm going to get some of these tea leaves here. Let me try to shuffle them. It's hard to shuffle. All right. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. 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 Damn, that's too many cards. All right, shield. So somebody is protected. <laughs> you need to defend yourself, okay? Somebody's protected. Somebody's got a shield. Somebody's protected. You might have to defend yourself. All right, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, that's all I'm taking. That's way too many cards. To get them off the floor here. Oh, yeah. Somebody could be dealing with the King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This was in the floor. I didn't see it. This is somebody It's very... This is somebody that likes to mind fuck people. They like to fuck with people mentally, right? Uh, this is a liar. This is somebody that's not very truthful. They're a liar. Somebody's in the forest. Yeah, somebody is muddled, unclear thinking. So somebody is like... They're just, they don't know what to think right now. They're just stuck. <laughs> Only way to put that. All right, Rose... There's a rose. There could be romance in the air. Angel. There, somebody's got spiritual guidance and they've got protection from uh, from uh, from harm. So somebody's protected from harm. Somebody does have protection. There's a dark woman. So somebody could be dealings, dealing or relationships with a woman with dark hair or dark complexion. Pig. Somebody's saying beware of greed. Beware of greed. You know, you better be happy with what you've got. Okay, it's not time to be greedy. Camel. Perseverance, and you will come, you will overcome your problems. So it's time not to be greedy. It's time to persevere through your problems, and you'll overcome them, okay? July could be significant, okay? Coins. Uh, money will be coming in. Lily. There's spiritual love here. Desk. Yes, it says pay attention to your work. Lobster, financial pension. So there's going to be somebody going to be losing some finances. 
bread, period of prosperity and abundance, vulture, depression, anxiety, worry that someone is against you, dog far away, a distant friend thinking of you or you thinking of somebody in the distance, not, unsuccessful plans, somebody try to tie somebody up in something, uh, but yeah, it was the plans was unsuccessful, jug, Light-hearted and carefree, carefree time. Younger man. Dealings a relationship with a younger man. Feather. Someone is undependable and insincere. So there's somebody that you can't depend on and their actions are not sincere. They're a fucking liar. Okay? Arrow. You're on the right path, the right path regarding some aspect in your life. So... In some aspect of your life, you're going in the right direction. Tulip, great passion. So there could be some great passion that's growing. V, so uh, victory in some endeavor. Door, opportunities are awaiting you. Mountain Road, you're on the road to success. Club, someone will try to make you do something against your will. So somebody could be in a club. And they want you to do something you don't want to do. Flute. Disappointment in a friend or a lover. Well. Great worry over nothing. Torch. Spiritual development. Enlightenment. Awareness. And understanding. Career. So somebody's got a torch. Somebody's in their spiritual development. They could be getting in their career. Woman. Dealings or relationship with a woman. Hand. In need of help, assistance, and guidance. Will. Indecisiveness. Allowing your life to ramble aimlessly. So your, your wheels are just spinning because you don't know what direction to go. You just keep turning around in circles. Rooster. An arrogant, boastful person that you should not cross. Harp. Great happiness. Vine. Seek out information that will help you. So somebody's trying to listen to shit through the grapevine to see if they can help them. Skull. Hidden secrets that can harm you. Carrot. Opportunity or windfall. Staff. You will be taken care of in difficult times. Teardrops. Great personal sorrow. So somebody's going through a lot of sorrow and pain. Cobweb. Protected from negative forces beyond your control. So somebody could try to get you get you caught up in some bullshit. Somebody's protecting you or somebody's protected from harm. Beetle, good fortune. Bull, do not back down from opposition. Show strength and fortitude. Pen, no job or career. May could be significant. And cat, you got some two-faced friends. You got friends as two faces of motherfucker. Pisces, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Pisces, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Yeah, somebody's out here always partying and playing games. Somebody could be cyber bullying somebody on the internet. Sat back waiting. Tell about the cyber bullying. Pisces, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Somebody could be going to jail, imprisonment for stealing off of somebody. Either physically or emotionally, scary to tactics. Somebody's trying to scare somebody. Somebody could be hitting the jackpot. Somebody could be hitting winning money, getting rich, inheritance, or unexpected money. Somebody's feeling dark and in a lonely place right now. All right, what else for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, something like that? What was that? Somebody's all in their head. They're over analyzing, overthink, very stressed out. And Spirit says, ain't shit. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay. Ooh, okay. Somebody's got some family issues going on. Somebody's uninterested. They're not interested. Somebody's trying to force. So somebody is trying to force things on you or on their way. Somebody's trying to force to get what they want. Okay. End you. Good chemistry, great vibes, positive. Somebody could be chasing this person, saying that they got, you know, they're into them. All right, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. 
You can want somebody back or somebody wants you back. Somebody can be set back stalking, obsessive, watching, obsessed. Somebody's a grudge holder. Somebody's pissed off holding a grudge. Possibly sun, moon, rise, and Venus. Somebody's a spirituality hater. Somebody's in their ego. Okay? Somebody's sitting back stalking again, obsessed. Come out. Somebody's got a hurt ego. Uh, ego getting in the way of a relationship. Somebody is a spirituality hater. So there's a dark person here that hates on people of the light. This is sheep. It's a wolf in sheep's clothing, but they're dark. They pretend to be all good. They pretend to be, they want to give everybody the outlook like they are so good and they do no wrong, but really they are wolf in sheep's clothing. They're real dark. Talking about spirituality hater and wolf in sheep's clothing for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Somebody's fed up. Somebody's fed up. Somebody's trying to be the boss, daddy. Somebody's out here making fake accounts, trying to stalk somebody on social media. Spirit says the same old shit, different day. Somebody's called an STD, a sexually transmitted disease. Somebody's feeling very lonely right now in a dark place, feeling alone. Somebody's having nightmares, bad dreams, insomnia, nightmares, seeing shit, bags underneath their eyes. Spirit is coming to visit somebody and putting their hand over their mouth saying, no, motherfucker, it's my time to talk. Somebody's sitting back impersonating somebody. Okay, talk about nightmares, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Somebody's dirt digging, trying to find some di some dirt on somebody. Tell me about these nightmares, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Somebody's curious about you or you're curious about somebody. Somebody's wasting their time, Spirit says. You're stuck. You're going to be limited and no changes. You're just wasting your time. And you're getting a fucking bad reputation. It's starting to get prickly. Could be that STD. Somebody's sitting back here threatening somebody. Could be intimidated. Threatened. Bothered. Somebody's sitting back doing a lot of reflecting. Doing a lot of thinking. Somebody's an idol. Somebody is being respected. They're being loved. You know, uh, they're being admired. They got fans. And somebody's bankrupt. Somebody's is going bankrupt. They're losing all their money. Give you angel answers, and I'm going to close this out. All right, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus was the message. Thank you. There is success here. Yes, on the bottom. So somebody's going towards success. Yes, that's the answer. All right, what else for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus? Okay, there's a fucking no on the bottom. Spirit is saying, if you believe, so he's talking about believing in yourself, there's opportunities that somebody is having here, opportunities opening up. Spirit is telling you to ask your angels, talk to your angels, and to listen to your intuition, listen to your gut. So, so that's what I have for you, Pisces. I hope that this helps you. For whatever reason, if it doesn't resonate, remember these are general messages. They're not going to resonate with each and every one of you. Take what fits and leave the rest, right? Please do not forget to give me a big fat thumbs up, like, share, subscribe. Appreciate you. God bless you and your family and peace, love, and light on your journey. Okay? Uh, if anybody would like to get a personal reading or donate to the channel, that is down there in the description box. You can follow me on Facebook, Shelly Evans. Go live there each and every day if you'd like to catch me live. And follow me on TikTok, Sisters Intuition. I send you peace, love, and light. Until next time, bye, y'all.